welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing Square. This was the Stock Swoosh Show Play of the Day in the Room today. And again, I like to get in and out of trades fast, okay? That is what I'm known for. It's what I'm very good at. And interestingly enough, looking at this today, with everything else falling, this had a big bounce. So we had a huge move in this in the morning so early. And again, you must take profits, not just in any market, but particularly in this market. Uh, so let's just go over it here. This closed here yesterday at 72.65. Boom, open today at 60. So here is what we did. And again, I call this trade live in the room. Just go over here. So we went after it aggressively. It worked, it had the volume. So here's where it opened. We got immediately into it. Boom, got the drop. I really had a good exit on this, but I actually could have made more. I think I could have made like a dollar more, <laughs> but I, I still do have a good exit. Some people actually got out before me. I held it a little bit longer. Um, I'm not sure if anyone that got, got out down there at the low. Again, this was roughly around 59. What was the low here? 56.55. Again, it's not that important to always try to get out at a piggy target because you you ultimately are going to get whacked if you do that. So, you know, when, when I'm looking at targets, I have my targets, I have my exits, my reversal signs. When I see something and I'm up one to one, I start watching to get out and I also look at the targets. But again, things move very quickly in the morning and you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. When you make a lot of money, several thousand dollars in three minutes, two minutes, five, less than five minutes, you can't let that money drift away from you. Part of active trading, day trading, is the whole idea of chunking it out. This is a long-term investing, okay? This is bouncing here. Do I think anyone should be long this? No. It pretty much flatlined the rest of the afternoon after the bounce over the high. But in reality, you know, you have to look at things and say, my job is to find the best pick every day, find the best gap every day, get the direction right in the trade, get the best entry that I possibly can, and make money. And again, sometimes I have a low of the day exit. Sometimes I have an excellent, excellent exit. I didn't have a low of the day exit in this, but I actually had close to the low of the day exit. I had an excellent exit in this. But at the end of the day, the reality is though that it's very, very difficult to always get the perfect, perfect, perfect exit. I do the best I can, sometimes we do, but I do get the perfect entry and the perfect pick most days, more than not. So. Great gap here in Square. We did it. We got in and out. PayPal was down with this as well. This was news. If you're interested in the March class, you only have one more day to sign up. The class is this weekend, March 25th and 26th. And the next class is April 15th and 16th. So it's a busy season right now, a busy time to trade. It has been a great week to short. If you'd like more information on the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. That is the class where I review how I make the picks, and you will learn the 26-point rating system that I did when I rated Square to know we could do it today. Have a great day, everyone.